Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today is a get ready with me So apart from curling my hair and washing my face, I haven't done anything yet So I'm gonna start off with vitamins So I normally take this collagen uh, and vitamin D um, in the morning So I went for health check that time and I was told that I lack vitamin D So this one has like a blueberry taste It's collagen but honestly I don't know if it really works but I do feel like my skin is a little better Ever since I started taking this I have been taking it for like I don't remember, at least half a year At least And vitamin D, yeah when I went for health check I was just saying Yep, because I don't like to go under the sun, so obviously, I'm not surprised. <clears throat> and I am going to tone my face with some toner. And then this one. So I realized this is a really good lotion to use before your makeup because it's very thin and very lightweight so it doesn't feel sticky on your face and it won't clash with any of your base product. And not forgetting the most important thing, sunscreen. This is my favorite sunscreen, this is like my second or third one already, it's so good. It's the same thing as the um, lotion I just used. It's very lightweight and doesn't feel sticky at all. And it doesn't clash with any of my base makeup also. So this one is the Essence one. There is quite a few, the pink cap and blue cap one. But I like this Essence one. Actually, I haven't tried the rest yet, but I like the fact that this one is more moisturizing according to what they say. And this one also doesn't change your skin tone because I don't like how some sunscreen or those um, blur milk kind of thing changes my skin tone. Like, I know it's supposed to give off a brighter skin, but I just don't like um, how it looks, especially because um, my foundation is kind of already a little lighter than my skin tone so I don't want my skin to look even fairer so normally after sunscreen I'll put on foundation but because I'm heading out the whole day today and I'm afraid it's gonna be quite hot and I'll be wearing a mask so on days like that I normally don't put on foundation I just use concealer on certain area and powder so that when I remove my mask after um, say half a day, my makeup won't look horrifying because you know sometimes after you remove the mask um, for dinner it's just yeah so sometimes I choose to go with concealer and powder so when I remove my mask it still looks quite okay after all you don't have any base product so yeah the concealer I'm using this the same old concealer all the time area so so I normally will only use this for my eye area t-zone and the rest of my face I will just use a loose powder and this is something I must put in my bag all the time if I'm going out cause it's super useful to help fix your makeup when you're outside so I'm gonna use a loose powder for the other parts of my face
So this is why I pick a um, loose powder with a little um, tin in it because if I just go for the white translucent powder, if on days whereby I'm not putting on foundation, this one actually helps to give my face a little bit of colour. Using the 3CE Almond Fudge Palette Use the lightest shade all over my lid first Hey Siri, what time is it now? I totally forgotten to apply lip balm. No wonder my lips feel so dry. I normally do it after sunscreen. And I will normally use this Nivea. It's supposedly a scrub but it's not scrubby or rough at all. It's just like a normal lip balm. If you're buying this for thinking that you want to use it as a lip scrub, please don't bother. It doesn't have any sugar beads in it at all. It's just like a normal lip balm. And it doesn't exfoliate anything so yeah if you want to buy it because it's aloe vera um, then yeah but if you want to buy it as a lip scrub please don't bother I'm gonna use the mascara fixer first so normally if I'm filming I won't use this but if I'm going out then I would use this
I chose this bag for today and I am going to bring my DJI pocket. So let's see how much I can fit in here. I'm gonna bring the pocket and I am also going to bring my film camera. And not forgetting my compact and lipstick. So these are the two makeup products that I will always bring with me. The lipstick, it depends on what I'm wearing that day but this is a must. And eye drop. My eye get dry super easily so eye drop is very important. So right now it's about 70% fill up so instead of my wallet, I'm going to bring a card holder out instead. I only bring my credit card and IC. I normally pay via Apple Pay but sometimes if Apple Pay fail, at least I still have the physical card to make payment. And I'm also gonna bring my EasyLink card. And that's about it so I'm gonna slot it in. The most important thing these days is mask. So I normally carry an extra mask with me and a mask holder in case my mask, the mask that I'm wearing just breaks or something. So I normally have one extra one. And wet wipes and tissue. So I ran out of those small tube hand cream so I have to squeeze some in this contact lens case and a lip balm and also my airpods and not forgetting this i like to bring a claw clip out with me in case the weather gets so hot and i need to clip my hair up i'm wearing this super cute full mask today